to you all at home. Welcome to Little Angels Academy e-learning portal. My name is Kwame Ayesu Obey. I will be taking you through integrated science for JHS 2. But before we start our lesson for today, let's look at some safety precautions because we all know this deadly pandemic that we are, the world is facing, which is the coronavirus or the COVID-19 disease. First of all, whenever you go out or you come in, you cleanse your hands with what? A hand sanitizer. Always put on your face mask, the face mask whenever you go out. Now, the most important thing is to always wash your hands. I said always wash your hands with soap under running water. Always wash your hands with soap under running water. And the last thing we we'll talk about is that please, 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 if you have no business doing outside, please stay at home. I repeat, if you have no business doing outside, please stay at home. Oh. Thank you very much. Today we are going to look at the topic infectious diseases of humans and what plants. Somebody may ask, what is a disease? A disease is any disorder that interferes with the normal functioning of the body of an organism in a negative way. Why am I saying it interferes with the normal body functioning? Because we all do our normal duties. Whenever you are sick, the things you used to do, it will change. Why? Because when you, you play for 15 minutes, whenever you are sick, you won't be able to play for that time. So it makes that the normal functioning of the body there is something wrong with it. Now, let's look at why or what shows that somebody has gotten a disease. A disease or diseases are recognized by symptoms and signs. The signs are the symptoms of the disease. Diseases, symptoms of diseases could be headache, high temperature, coughing, vomiting, etc. Now, let's look at the causes of diseases. What are some of the things that bring about these diseases? The first one, we will look at something which we call microorganisms. Diseases are caused, some diseases are caused by microorganisms. Microorganisms like this COVID-19 that we are facing, that microorganism which is causing this COVID-19 is virus. Example, like tuberculosis, it is caused by a microorganism called macrobacterial tuberculosis. So it, it is a microorganism. And the name of the organism is a bacteria. The second one, we will also look at physical disorders. So if I may write, the first one, we have microorganisms. That is the microorganisms we have here. Then the second one, we have physical, sorry, this, others. When we say physical disorders, for example, two boys are playing football on the football pitch. Accidentally, one of them fell and got hurt. It becomes a physical disorder. Physical means it can be seen with this eye. There has been 
there has been a disorder, a cut or a fracture in the knee or on the leg. leg. And so, example of physical disorders. We have cuts as in holding knife or hurting yourself with a knife or a blade. Then we also have bends. When there is a hot saucepan or when you, you come in contact with a hot object, it burns your hand. That is one cause of disease. That is. Then the other cause, we have chemical reaction. In as much as we are getting physical disorders, we can also get chemical causes. Chemical causes like food poisoning. Smoking, when somebody smokes for a very long time, the person becomes infected by what? A disease. Drinking a lot, also part of what? Or an example of a chemical cause. The next one, we are looking at heritable or genetic disorders. Heritable or genetic disorders. When we say heritable, something which is being inherited from parents, the transfer of certain genetic hormones from parents to their offspring. That is what we call heritable. So heritable, an example of heritable or genetic disorders is the sickle cell. You see people, you see people here, you hear people saying sickle cell, sickle cell. It's a genetic or heritable disorder. And we have one other genetic disorder or genetic cause of disease, which we call hemophilia. The hemophilia is somewhat similar to the sickle cell. The next one we'll be looking at, the next one we are looking at is metabolic. Metabolic or hormonal, hormonal disorders. Very good. When we say metabolic, when you eat food, it is it goes through your mouth, through the buccal cavity, uh, the esophagus, then to your stomach, where it starts digestion starts what place. If the food is not able to digest and causes a disease, that is what we call metabolic. It is not able to digest. Then hormonal disorder, there are certain hormones in the system that should, should secrete on the food that we've eaten. If these hormones are not doing their work and it becomes excessive or abundant in, in the system, it causes a disease. Example, the goita, you will see especially found in women. You see certain women with a protruded neck or a big neck. That is what we call goita. It is caused by hormona disorder. Diabetes. So those with diabetes, it is also a metabolic or hormonal disorder. Now, we are looking at the last one, which is mental illness. Mental illness. It will interest you to know that many of us are wearing suits and tie, yet we are sick. Why am I saying this? Example of mental illness is depression. Depression. What is depression? 
What is depression? When a person becomes stressed up and his thinking ability ceases, the person begins to think abnormal. That is the normal way people, human beings should think. The person goes beyond it. That is what we call depression. Anxiety, in some way, can also be mental illness. Very good. I hope by now we've seen what a disease is and what brings about diseases. Now, we are going to take them one after the other, the causes of the diseases. Now, the first one we are going to look at, microorganisms. Microorganisms are organisms, they are tiny organisms that cannot be seen with this eye, with this uh, naked eye, but can only be seen under the help or with the help of a microscope or under microscope. That is why we said it is called a micro. It means it is very what well, tiny. Very good. Now we have groups of microorganisms. There are only five. We are going to talk about them. I hope some of you have already or have heard of microorganisms before. There are only five of them. But these microorganisms cause disease in human beings. And these are known as they are known as pathogens. They are known as pathogens. They are known as pathogens. This microorganism that cause diseases to human is called pathogens or disease causing agents or organisms. It's either pathogens or disease causing organisms. Very good. Now we are looking at the groups of microorganisms. Groups of microorganisms. I said earlier that microorganisms have been put into groups. We have the first one, which is the bacteria. Singular is bacterium, but when they are plural, it is bacteria. Then we have virus. Then we have fungi. We have the last one, the protozoan. Then the last one, which is the rickettsia. Very good. These are all groups of microorganisms. These are all microorganisms. You could, you could hear that the coronavirus or the COVID-19 is caused by a virus. You've seen that. So these are groups of microorganisms. Well, as I said earlier on, you have to stay, stay at home and stay safe. Always make sure that if you have no business doing outside, stay at home. We want you to stay at home and stay safe so we can all meet at school. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.